a trip to almost any VA hospital <clears throat> will, will reveal the important work of the Military Order of the Cootie. Each year, the Cootie spend thousands of hours bringing comfort and laughs to our hospitalized veterans. Their commitment to keep him smiling in beds of white is a grand tribute to the service and sacrifice of all veterans. Our next guest was elected Supreme Commander of the Military Order of the Cootie last July. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the Supreme Commander of the Military Order of the Cootie of the United States, Dr. Darren Combs, a true friend of the VFW and of mine from the great state of Arizona. They love you. They love you. Good morning, comrades, cooties, cuties, and crummies. I am Darren Combs. I'm the proud Gold Legacy Life member of Post 9400, Department of Arizona, and Pup 1011, the Grand of Arizona. I had the distinct honor to serve as the Supreme Commander of the Military Order of the Cootie this past year. On behalf of the nearly 12,000 members of the Military Order of the Cootie and our auxiliary, I want to start off by congratulating Commander-in-Chief Hal Roche for such an amazing year of hard work and collaboration. Your amazing support throughout the year has been absolutely wonderful. With your help, the Military Order had not one, but two articles published in the VFW Magazine this year. This means a lot to us. We receive great benefits from the exposure. For those who may be unfamiliar with the Military Order of the Cooties, the boos that you heard uh, resoundingly just now are actually words of praise in Cootie talk. We often do things backwards, and we do it with humor and, and fun. While hospitals and homes of recovery are often solemn venues for quiet, worry, and deep concern for the residents, the Cooties love to bring a little excitement into the lives of our hospitalized veterans. We love to swarm our VAs and state homes for veterans with fun and frolic and activities sure to bring a smile. For over 100 years, the Cooties have been adamant to keep them smiling in beds of white, our organization's motto. Members of the military or the Cootie and our auxiliary have been found refurbishing wheelchairs, distributing them to fellow veterans for free, making quilts, donating them to the needing veterans, and hosting game days for shut-in veterans. We may be found in hospitals providing free rides so they don't have to hike to their appointments from their distant parking areas. We may be found hosting barbecues, special luncheons, and providing laughter-filled activities for veterans. Caring for hospital veterans is our specialty. In 1923, Cooties presented the concept of creating a special home now called the VFW National Home for Children. Even today, we are very engaged with the National Home by hosting the annual Christmas party and many other events like Halloween and Easter activities. This year, the Military Order of the Cootie President, Auxiliary President Jennifer Wind and I conducted a special project for the reception, of, reception area of the Child Care and Early Education Center was completely remodeled. The team did an outstanding job and now our home's parents have a very nice area within the center to pick up and drop off their children each day. This past year, the Cooties conducted almost 11,000 visits to over 70,400 veterans, consisting of almost 82,000 hours and 700,000 miles traveled. Cooties gave gifts totaling over $408,000. The dollar value Cooties contributed to our collective cause of taking care of veterans was over 110% of our efforts last year and the total dollar value of our VA hospital credits was over $3.6 million. Currently, about 1% of the VFW members are cooties. The MOC membership grew this year by an increase of 105% from last year. This is the greatest percentage increase in a single year for as far back as we have records. With respect to the VFW membership this year, 30 of the top 50 VFW recruiters are cooties. 
This next year, our senior vice commander, Olin Parks, who plans to, next year to come up with more and more programs to recruit VFW members with specific and personal programs focusing on recruiting VFW members. That is where we get our source of our members in the military or the CUDI. Comrades and friends, the barriers put before us over the last year did not hinder our work in the military or the CUDI. We, like everyone else, experienced lockdowns, being shut out from hospitals, and sadly lost some very dear friends and comrades. We decided at the beginning of the year that whatever barrier brought before us, we were going to go over it, under it, through it, whatever it took to carry out our duties to our veterans. While many were throwing up their hands using COVID as a reason not to carry out our mission, the Cooties put our hands to work. We got on the phone, sent out cards, emails, set up special arrangements outside the care facilities to hold the events outdoors. We were successful this year because the innovative Cooties wanted to break through the barrier placed in front of us. I want to thank our MOC Auxiliary President Jennifer Wynn for such a great partnership this year. The work we're able to do together will have long-lasting impact upon many veterans and their lives. I also want to thank once again my friend and our Commander-in-Chief for the outstanding work we have done together this year and the hours of collaborative effort for our veterans. I'm confident that the military or the CUDI will keep playing a vital role within our great organization with special efforts in our organization's hospital, work, and national home. Congratulations in advance, Senior Vice Commander Fritz, and best of luck this year. I want to affirm to you that you have the undying support of the military or of the CUDI. Chief, thanks again, and as we say in the CUDIs, congratulations on a lousy year. Yesterday, as you all may have heard, our national home uh, present, and they had a need. And although they're not able to be here with us at this time, I would like to see if you'd like to see some cooties in action. So if you would accept on behalf of the national home a check for $43,000 to cover the snowplow requ requested by our national home. Thank you. Thank you all, and we'll see you at our convention uh, over in Kansas.